skew is when your print printer is not exactly square, a hundred percent, and your prints end up not being fully square as a result. So I go into Clipper and I enable this skew correction, and once that's done. I close out of this. I go and I print this shape. It's called YCAS, yet another calibration square. And it has markings and flat spots on here. So you start off, what I end up doing, I open up a notepad document, which I've done here already. Here it is. So you need to take some measurements here. A, C, B, D, A, D. So what you do is you take a pair of calipers like this and you look at the square. You have A, B, C, man it's hard to focus, D, Y2, Y1, X1, X2. But anyways, first you need to measure your AC. So what you do, you measure the flat spot from right there, from this end, all the way up to this end, and you write your measurement down. Mine was 142.2. Then you gotta do the BD. So that's gonna be B down to D. So you measure from the flat spot here with calipers up to here. Mine ended up being 141.05 millimeters. And then they want the A to D. So that's going to be from the flat spot you know, from here, this edge, all the way over to this edge. And then once you have that, you write them all down. The next command, set skew. X, Y equals, that's the first measurement, the AC, which is 142.2, so that's what I have. Then comma, space, 141.05 is the BD measurement, 141.05. And then the final measurement, comma, space, 100.16 which was my measurement for AD. So I did my set skew. And then I did, so let's go over here to my console. So, okay, so once I had my skew results and everything, I could hit get current skew, and then it reported the measurements. It was saying XY skew is zero zero or point zero zero eight one two radians which equates to zero point four seven degrees out of skew i haven't done the other the x z and the y z yet that's the z axes um so anyways we had all that so what i ended up doing next i okay let's get the notepad back up I have a few things that I do. First, you know, I got the current skew. That's what I just read off to you, how many degrees. So then I save the profile. So skew underscore profile save equals, and I call it skew. So that saves that to Clipper. So once that's done, you need to then call upon it, you know, when you choose to. So the way I do it... Um, now that that's saved, I go into Orca, to Machine Settings, and inside here you go to Machine G Code, and you'll go up to the Start G Code. I add this to my Start G Code. Skew Profile Load equals Skew. So, at the start of every print, it'll call upon that automatically. So. Once that's done, I then reprint a second square. So there it is. You know, and because I added that to the startup configuration, it's going to print it with the new SKU settings enabled. So once that got completed, pull 
up this. I did those same measurements all over again. The A to C, B to D, and then from A all the way over to D. And I came up this time with 141.67. 141.53, 100.1, which is a whole lot more even. So now that I have that, I then entered this next um, command here. This calc underscore measured underscore skew AC equals the first number, just like before AC. So now I type in the 141.67. I type in the 14153 and the AD of 100.1. So once that's done now, you know, I, I that's my command. I copied that or you know, and then I pasted it into Clipper into the console. So that's it there. And based on the compensation now it says calculated skew is 0 0.000989 radians and I am only 0 0.06 degrees out of skew now so that's how you end up setting skew compensation or skew correction you know and it compensates for a twisted frame or your gantry not being quite right or just whatever is throwing your machine out of whack so that's how you use this and you could take it further there's these print flat on the bed but they have other tests that then sit upright like this so that you can then measure how skewed your print is in the other direction the up and down directions rather than just the front back left and right x y and you know well it's just x and y so hope this helps